to echo what Bill and what Tom have said, um, I'm going to be a little reflective too. And I was in Washington, D.C. at the DNC winter meeting in January or February time frame of 2007, where we had nine Democrats paraded across the stage who wanted to be the next president of the United States. And two remarkable candidates ended up in that struggle and ended right here in South Dakota on June 3rd. I've got to say my appreciation and my support for Hillary Clinton was unwavering. But we have one candidate for president of the United States now, and that's Senator Barack Obama. And I stand here proudly with support for Barack Obama for the 44th president of the United States of America. I would be remiss if I didn't say that the best way for me to think about that struggle between Hillary and Barack is really to look at it through the eyes of the Chapman household. <laughs> I came home one day, my son called and he said, Dad, uh, I got a surprise for you. So as I come up the hill, there's a Barack Obama sign in the yard. And I said, Alex, I'm doing all this work for Hillary. I think we should take that down. And he listened patiently. And he said, Dad, what does that have to do with me? <laughs> so I did what any loving, nurturing, caring father would do. When he went to bed that night, I took his sign down and I hid it. Oh! And I put a Hillary sign in the front yard. And this went on for a couple of days, us switching signs. So the only grown-up in our house, Cheryl, said, we'll put both signs in the yard. Somewhere in Isaiah it says, and a child shall lead them. I just need to learn to listen better to my child. But this is a historic moment in our time. We have one week before we can start to really bring this country back together, where we can elect hope over fear, unity over all of this divisiveness, where we can have competency in Washington, D.C. again. And I think the best person to do that is Senator Barack Obama. Yeah, I think that. Right. Absolutely. Yes, we can. 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 I yes, think we that we can. will elect Barack Obama as president of the United States, and I think we'll start that today on this caravan as we travel across the state to connect with Democrats, Republicans, Independents, South Dakotans alike to elect the 44th president of the United States. Also on that ticket, also on that ticket is to re-elect Senator Johnson and send him back to to the Senate to re-elect uh, Congresswoman Stephanie Hurst at Sandlin to elect Matt McClarty as our Public Utilities Commission and a whole of Democratic candidates uh, across our state, including Senator, re-elected Senator Tom Cadiz. So let's get started with our caravan today, and thank you for coming out. Thank you. Eighteen months ago, I had the wonderful opportunity. Somebody called me, uh, uh, Jimmy Pribble called me from, from Denver and said, Bill, come on in, and we're having a... Uh, a uh, get together with Barack Obama. I really didn't know who Barack was. I mean, I knew who he was, but I hadn't really paid much attention. Matter of fact, during the uh, the last uh, uh, convention in Boston, when he was giving his speech, I was mingling with the Indiana delegation because I like to mingle on the floor of the uh, of uh, the convention floor, and I, I really uh, didn't have a chance to listen to his eloquence. I went to this uh, gathering, a private gathering in Denver, uh, 18 months ago, and had the opportunity to uh, listen to this young man, and I thought, what a beautiful combination between George McGovern's ability to teach and, and his sense of history, and yet Bobby Kennedy's moral integrity. He really reminded me of a combination of George McGovern and, and Bobby Kennedy. And at that gathering, I had the opportunity to go up and, and meet Barack, and uh, I said, you know, I'm going to be at the convention in a year and a half, and I'm going to be wearing this hat, and you better believe I'm going to be in a Stars and Stripes shirt, and, and I'm going to be in the front row. Come the last night of the uh, convention, I'm sitting in the bleachers with my daughter against me. And I get a call from Kathy Pearsall, and she said, Bill, you won't believe this. But she said, come down in front. I went down in front, and there on a folding chair was my name, 
Bill Walsh, right in front of Obama's podium. Now that guy does not forget. He does not forget anything. And, uh, it was a wonderful opportunity, but we've got to win this uh, campaign. And Brock has been so on message ever since he started with alternative energy, with the infrastructure, rebuilding the infrastructure across this nation with health care and education. Those four uh, principles and policies have been consistent with Barack, and we know here in the state of South Dakota how much we can benefit by participating in all those programs. So we have to win this for, for Senator Obama. We have to win this, and we have to elect Democratic legislators who will yep. begin to anticipate yeah. those federal programs yeah. that are going to come down and affect South Dakota. It's so important that we, we elect Democratic legislators and moderates who will understand what is coming down uh, this, the pike in the next two years. The other thing we have to realize is that John McCain has been against ethanol subsidization. He's been against all the earmarks that, that have been very, very beneficial to the state of South Dakota. Again, we have to get that word out in this, this last seven days of the campaign. It's so necessary to elect Barack Obama as our next president of the United States. Yes, we can. 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 And yes, today we, we recognize can. the DW, the uh, university, the home of, of Senator McGovern, and uh, for a big rally on the DW campus. Tomorrow we'll be at uh, Brookings at South Dakota State and on to Vermillion. And we're going to energize the young people, get them out to vote. Yes. We're going to energize the elderly. We're going to energize everybody in this state, the Native Americans. and. We're going to win for Barack Obama a week from today. Right up there with the rest of the states that are voting for the next president of the United States. So thanks for coming out and join us if you can. We'll see you all Sunday night at the Labor Temple. All right. Yes, we can. 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 Yes, we can.